Hello, brothers and sisters. It's Brother Stephen here, uh, sharing <coughs> another video of Almighty God's words. It's ten past eight in the evening. So uh, we're carrying on the topic, the principles of living out a normal humanity. Amen. So we'll just open the meeting with a short word of prayer. Amen. All right, okay, okay, let's uh, close our eyes and get our heart quiet before Almighty God. Uh, Almighty God, we thank you for this time together in your presence. Lord, we ask your blessing on your word of truth. And Lord, I pray that you will guide us into all truth and uh, open the hearts of your people so that they may receive your words into their heart and life so that they can bear much fruit. Keep our hearts and minds stayed upon you. O oh Lord, in the world there is much trouble, much tribulation, as it's foretold in the Bible. So, oh Lord, you will keep us through all the storms of life if we feed on your words and give you our hearts and trust in you, Lord. Even the, the Bible says they will keep him in perfect peace. So they will keep him in perfect peace whose mind stayed upon thee because he trusted in thee. And again it says in quietness and in confidence shall be your strength. Amen. Another verse. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Amen. That's from uh, Prophet Isaiah, isn't it? Anyway, let's uh, read on one to God's words. Now, let's open our hearts and be like that sponge. And let's uh, absorb God's words into our systems so that we can grow strong. Amen. Okay, Almighty God says, people who have the truth are those who in their real experiences can stand firm in their testimony, stand firm in their position, stand on the side of God without ever treating and, sorry, without ever retreating, sorry, and who can have a normal relationship with people who love God who when things happen to them are able to completely obey God and can obey God unto death. Your practice and revelations in real life are the testimony of God. They are man's living out and the testimony of God. And this is truly enjoying God's love. When you have experienced to this point, the due effect will have been achieved. You are possessed of action, living out, and your every action is looked upon with admiration by others. Your clothing and outward appearance are unremarkable, but you live out a life of the utmost piety, and when you communicate the words of God, you are guided and enlightened by Him. You are able to speak God's will through your words communicate reality and you understand much about serving in spirit. You are candid in your speech, you are decent and upright, non-confrontational and decorous, able to obey God's arrangements and stand firm in your testimony when things befall you. And you are calm and composed no matter what you are dealing with. This kind of person has truly seen God's love. Some people are still young, but they act as someone of middle age. They are mature, possessed of the truth, and admired by others. And these are the people who have testimony and are the manifestation of God, which is to say, when they have experienced to a certain point, inside, they will have insight toward God, and the external disposition 
will also stabilize. Okay, and that's from the, the Word Volume 1, the appearance and work of God. Those who love God will forever live within his light. Amen. So that's uh, that's the sort of person you can be when when you're close to God. You know nothing, nothing can defeat you. Nothing can get you down. But you you stay calm in all the situations of life. Just like that Bible verse, I'll keep them in perfect peace. This mind is stayed upon thee, because they trust in thee. Amen. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with the wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. So that, that's the strength that Almighty God can give you. And he can make you a brand new person. And uh, that's what he's doing. is perfecting us by his spirit and by his words that he's given unto us. Amen. So... You need God's words. If you want more of God's words, you can download the app at the Church of Almighty God, where you'll get all of God's words for free, and wonderful videos, and wonderful hymns that you can sing and dance to. I say that for people who have not heard yet. Maybe they've not seen the other videos that I've sent out. Okay, so... That's it, uh, just a short video uh, tonight, so uh, I'm going to post this out onto YouTube and Facebook, so may God bless you and uh, remember to share God's words with others, it's our duty as Christians to uh, preach the gospel and share the gospel of Almighty God wherever we can to people who are open. Amen? Alright, let's end with prayer then. Almighty God, thank you for feeding us with your holy words. Lord, we give you thanks and praise. And uh, we look forward to more exciting times with you, Almighty God. We pray you cleanse us from all unrighteousness and if we have sinned in any way, we ask your forgiveness. We're truly sorry and repent of all our misdeeds and sins. Anything bad that we've done or anything that bad that we've said. If we've wronged somebody, we repent and we apologise. Amen. God bless you, brothers and sisters. So I'll, I'll see you in the next video. Okay, lots of love. God bless. Take care. See you soon.